let's look at the time rate scheme since we are looking at the remuneration schemes of labor so the time rate here workers are paid according to the number of hours they have worked so payment is based on the time worked which could take the form of hours weeks or a month it involves basic time rate and then the high time rate so the formula for calculating for the basic time it is time worked times the hourly rate you can work for eight hours but then when every hour they pay maybe ten thousand so it will be eight hours times ten thousand which is eighty thousand then the high day rate is used where an organization pays higher wages in a particular geographical area or industry to attract and retain high skilled workers so it can be like people who work like in northern uganda are paid more per hour than the people that work in central uganda something like that so the high day rate is where an organization pays higher wages depending on a geographical area or that industry so that they can be able to attract workers to work from there then um, the overtime rate it is given to workers who work beyond the normal time if you are supposed to work up to 5 p.m but then you go an extra and you work up to 7 p.m those extra two hours you've worked they will be paid as overtime so it is given to workers who work beyond the normal time then it's added to the basic hourly rate and addition is known as the overtime premium so let's look at the causes of overtime why would someone work beyond their normal working hours first is that the normal routine workload when you have too much work to finish and it's due soon then uh, natural calamities whereby it was raining and maybe you came to work late something like that then uh, special customer orders like that order is supposed to be completed before the end of the day so you'll have to work extra hours in order for you to finish that work 